What's up and good afternoon guys. Well, welcome back to another video. Today we're out here in the woods and what we're going to do is just cook up a quick dinner, do a quick gear review and then head back to the house. So stay tuned. We'll be right back right after this. Alright, welcome back guys. Okay, so um, like I said, today we're just out here in the woods. We're going to cook up some dinner, do a quick little gear review, and then I'm going to head back to the house. So anyway, uh, let me get the backpack off. I'm going to set it down here and uh, get the stove out and get it going and get it ready to go. And uh, we're going to try and get some dinner on. I've got some steak to eat tonight so uh, let me go ahead and I say get this off I'll set it down and uh, get the stove out and get everything ready to go welcome back guys all right so we got the fire started got it going uh, I've got dinner um, laid out here I'm gonna go ahead and get it started eat real quick and then we'll do the gear review uh, immediately after that I'm not going to uh, put the uh, cooking on the film, mostly it's just about the gear review, so let me get something to eat real quick and then we'll get on to the gear review. Be back here in a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back guys. We're done with dinner. We got everything all cleaned up, fires out, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over a little bit of gear review real quick. Um, what I've got here is my little battery bank solar charger. And uh, what you can do is right up here in the corner here, if you'll uh, click on the uh, video from here, you'll see the unboxing that I did of it. So be sure to go back and watch that after this. Um, anyway, this is a uh, 30,000 milliamp battery, back, uh, battery pack. Has a solar charger on the front. On the back has wireless charging on the back along with a... Uh, Flashlight has a high, a low, a strobe, or SOS, and then a strobe. So, and then up here on the end, you have two USB 3s and a USB C. The USB C is for the uh, power in and power out, so you can charge the battery bank using the uh, USB-C in. Um, also, if it's a USB-C to USB-C, you can charge your phone or camera or whatever you have with it. I've been using this now and uh, for about a year now. And the uh, solar charger, which is actually pretty cool. Um, if you look here, let me turn it back on here. You'll see the little four little blue lights here on the front, and what that gives you is it tells you um, basically like how much battery life you have left. So we're at a hundred percent here, and uh, anyway, if you want to take and set this out in the sun and want to charge your phone, it'll charge it both by solar and also by battery. Also, with it sitting in the sun, it will actually charge this battery bank. It may take a couple of days leaving it out in the sun straight for like an entire day or two, uh, but it will charge this battery bank completely to full. Uh, the nice thing about this is if the battery bank ends up going dead, sit it out in the, uh, the sun and you can still charge your phone, your camera, your batteries, whatever you have um, using the two USBs and the USB-C. Um, like I said, I've had this for over a year now, and I've had it out testing it. I've had my hammock uh, lights. I have a LED that goes from one end of the hammock to the other end of the hammock that strings up. And I've used this little battery bank to run it overnight. And it ran it all night long. Battery never died. I had about 50% battery by the next morning. So that was good. Um, with this, um, I get about... Four, maybe six full charges 
anywhere between four and six full charges on my cell phone um, at a complete full battery on the battery bank um, usually I'll, my phone will get down to like probably 30 or 40 percent sorry excuse the motorcycle going by um, anyway my phone will sometimes will get down about 30 or 40 percent and I'll throw it on the battery bank it'll charge it to full in about an hour or so um, so it doesn't take very long it doesn't take all day to charge it may take maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half to go from you know say 20 or 30 percent to completely full um, so it's not a big deal like I said I get about between four and six full charges on uh, the phone on this um, I haven't used uh, the light on the back so much I mean I have a couple of times because I've misplaced my flashlight and had to use the, the light on this works great um, had zero issues out of it and um, what I'll do is in the description down below I'll put a link to this down in the uh, description for you so if y'all want to buy one uh, the last time I saw it it was on sale for I think 25 25 or 26 dollars was the last time I checked um, it may have gone up since then but anyway like I said what I'll do is I'll put a, a link down in the description and um, that way if you guys are interested in it it's a great little battery bank and I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much as I have so anyway that's my review on it I've had zero issues out of this I've taken it kayaking with me I've had it camping um, I've used it in my hammock I have walked around with it you know like hiking around and stuff um, taking it with me everywhere and zero issues out of this thing uh, the nice thing about it too is it's also very water I won't say waterproof but it is water resistant uh, it has this little cover here on the end if you pull the cable out and what that does is it's supposed to completely seal the uh, battery up so that no water will get to it and any intrusion in it now I have had this out in the rain uh, with the cover on it um, no issues with it it's never gotten wet um, however I would not like dunk it in water and keep it in the water because it will seep through that little seal um, that seal will not hold it will like light rain light mist something like that heavy downpours uh, just so long as like you're you keep the, the battery covered down and out of the rain um, I'd recommend like if it's raining or something put it in a backpack get it somewhere dry so that you're not having to fumble around with it um, also I recommend getting a, a, a long a USB 3 cable uh, this one here is a short one uh, you can get the, the longer ones up to I think 10 foot and what I'll do is I'll put another link in for the description for those um, so that way you can put this in your backpack and have that cable come out of your backpack and charge your phone while you're uh, hiking or whatever um, also if you don't want to do that you just like the little small cord like this here you can take this battery bank put it in your backpack put your cord in it plug in your phone whatever uh, they have several different uh, cords that you can get you can get the type C which is the one it came with and it also comes with uh, a little mini USB as well um, I got the one for Android so they had the same exact one that comes with the cord for the Apple phones as well so um, you just have to look in the description for it it has both of them so it'll, it'll have one that says Android and one for iPhone so um, I chose one with Android because that's what I've got and that's what I use so anyway uh, that's about all I've got for you and I will say I have thoroughly enjoyed using this thing and I will continue to use it and I hope that you guys enjoy it hope y'all have a lot of fun using it so I guess that's about it that's all I have for you for today so until next time I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors get out and enjoy nature bye guys <laughs>